Hello, it is the FAQ Central, and today we are doing a tutorial um, on how to build a Minecraft server, because not only are people that actually in FAQ Central, like other directors, don't know how to make Minecraft servers, but all you guys out there who don't know how, well, I'm going to show you, it's, it's not that difficult, and what I'm going to do, I've got a BT Home Hub 2 or something, and I'll show you kind of specifically that one because quite I think quite a few people have BT Home Hubs and they're all pretty much the same. But um, and then I'll also show you a website if you don't have a BT Home Hub. All right. So first, what you do, you go onto the internet and yeah, it's our channel. I'll go on Google, and you want to type in. Um, all right. I'll go with dot net. Okay. So we'll go to minecraft.net and there's I don't know if they've changed it. I haven't I haven't checked in ages, but yeah, so see you either can have the easily easy one or the minecraft.jar um, or exe. Exe is basically uh just the the actual thing whereas minecraft server jar you can open it up in um like winrar yeah, WinRAR, and then you can put mods on it, etc. So, I'll just go with this one for the purpose of this. It's just a lot easier. It'll take a couple of bit of time to download. Okay, so... Um, so, the website that you go to... Dot port forward... Probably spell it wrong because I'm a retard. Alright, so this is just called www.portforward I'll leave like links in the description for all of these but this is uh, portforward.com and um, basically look you can see how huge it is it's just got loads of things so these are all like all the routers that have ever been made really uh, pretty much this probably so let's just go so I have just some complete crappy I have the O2 blah 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 blah, blah. okay oh there's downloaded uh, skip the advertisement because when I first got on this, I was so confused why why there was something there. All right, so you go down to M for Minecraft server. That is on the left side around here somewhere. Uh, Minecraft server there. And then what it does is it tells you, like, step by step how to do it. So, see, and it'll have pictures and all this crap. So, yeah, that's, that's how you do that. And that's pretty... It's a really helpful website, but... Now I'm going to show you directly how to use um, how to use a BT Home Hub. Anyone really? Oh, damn it! Um, sorry, I just got messaged by some dude. Um, folder. So just put it in a folder because otherwise you have it all over your desktop. All right. So you just run it. Uh, I I click off that because it kind of annoys me every time you. And this will happen, and it will have a load of warnings, and that's all right because it's just saying that it can't find it, and it just makes one. And so what's doing now? So it's just generated the spawn area basically. It, it might take longer than that, don't worry. But then just to exit it safely, just type in stop, but you can just e exit. See, it's a bit confused why it's saving chunks, cause. So yeah, um, I think I've just like glitched out my computer. I don't know. All right, so now this seal, this has come up. So. Um, I'll explain through that at the end, but I'm just going to show you how to port forward. Because at the moment, if I turn this on, go on Minecraft. Um, Alright, this is... Yeah. I, I've got the IP for my server. Uh, because I've port forwarded, I can get in, but usually I wouldn't be able to get in. Because if you see... Oh, for God's sake. Uh, if you go on my Minecraft, these are all loads of different servers, so they're all like... Just yeah, just general. I've got some bucket servers in there as well. All right, so you just leave that, minimize it, and close that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just uploading a video. Um, so now you want to go on ipchicken.com, put a don name, but all right. And then this here tells you your IP. So now, if you type this into Minecraft, it won't let you in, but it won't let me in because I put forwarded. So you copy that. And then paste it up here in the top. Okay, and this will take you see to your, like your thingy, my bobby. 
So, oh, okay. I think I remember my password. If you go on settings, wait. That might be mine. Okay. There. Yes. All right. Okay, so just type in your password. It'll be on the back of your your router. Uh, so now it should take something like this. It might be a bit different depending on what like version you've got, all that. So now you got to look around until you go see advanced settings, not port forwarding. It will you want to do that, but go advanced settings and then it'll warn you that it's really complex. Just continue to it, then go on port port forwarding and take you to this. These are all they're just like things that I've already done. So now if you go to supported applications, these are the oh gosh, um, these are the things that I've I've made. Port forwarder don't need that. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I will edit this Minecraft one. This is, this is what it should look like. So I'll just leave that there for a second. I don't know, print screen or something, but just, that is what it's got to look like. I'll go through it now, but that's what it will look like. So just apply. All right. So I'll set up a new one just for this video. Uh, so you can add new game application and this will come up. So like, yeah, FAQ test i don't know and then say no for that so then this will come up so tcp and then the minecraft port is 25565 so like that so 25565 25565 25, all of them then you add it then udp and you 25565 25565 there like that okay so that's done and now that looks exactly like the last one so you click apply and then after it might take a bit of my jigaba bob. So back go back to configuration and I'll unassign this. So now so see I've unassigned this. This may take a while. Apply. And then you've got to click apply. So now look when I go onto my Minecraft server, open up Minecraft, it will let me go in on local host because I'm run uh, I'll I'll show you this little trick. If you're kinda of just making it for yourself then you haven't completely developed it yet. There'll be a thing called local host, and the IP will just be local host, and then you'll be able to get in. But see, the FAQ Central now, you can't reach it, and it'll say the connection refused because the server isn't connected. And you see it's F the FAQ Central is the bomb because uh, I'm going to do another tutorial on how to change that, but at the moment I'll just exit this. Um, God, it's, it takes it's a bit buggy. Okay, so now... We go to oh sorry, pure gaming was my old channel. I, I need to change that. Um, God, I can't remember what I called it. Oh, the FAQ Central. Uh, can't see it. There we go. So my computer's running a bit ill today. These are just these are they're basically all these things. I have a load of complete weird things, but all of these are um, things that that have been. Oh gosh, that's probably my phone. But they're all the things that either are connected right now or have been connected. So, just click a add. Take a while, probably. And then just click apply. Yay. Alright, so there. Now, if I open the server. Just show you. I'm surprised. That, uh, Minecraft actually does take up quite a lot of your like RAM. That's just, yeah. So if you're surprised that say you have like a game like Portal that I used to have, see now now it's all working and this is this is what the beast that it generated. Wow. Let's see what it looks like. Alright. Whoa. Okay, it's lag because it's the first time running. That what that's expected. So don't be like, oh my god. Alright, this place isn't that bad, actually too shabby. Very big forest. Okay, anyway, I'm not meant to Plane. Okay, uh, so and this would just say Deadly Beats logged in. Stop that now, and it should save. Okay, uh, so yeah, now you have a Minecraft server. Hooray! Uh, so now, I'm sorry, I'm kind of rushing through this, but you know. Uh, so whitelist. This is who you want to be in it. So beat Deadly Beats. That's my name. So I'll let me be in it, and then just type in your friends. So take, say I had a friend called like I don't know. I'll put in Zufius. So You'd have to do a space bar, like no space after your name or anything. 
So that would be like that, and then just you have to save it, okay? Now, server, properties file. This is just you can choose what to do. So your viewing distance, these two aren't really that important. Generate structures, so that's like dungeons, um, MC villages, all of that. So you just kick that through. Spawn monsters. The Because th the thing is, on Minecraft servers, you can't just put your game mode to peaceful because other people might have it on hard. So, so you have to do it here like that but you can get bucket servers which you can control that a lot easier but that's quite that's not this what this is about and then maximum players 20 you can put that to like 20,000 but obviously it'll just like pull up your thing game mode that's the default game mode so if i set that to one then next time i go on uh i'll, I'll be on creative mode and then difficulty is like how how hard it is to kill mobs uh pvp doesn't really matter online mode Basically, some people that I don't like, uh, they get Minecraft for free, and it's called Cracked Minecraft. I, I'm never going to make a video about that, because I don't... Why would you do that? Because it's only, like, 15 quid. Um, so, say if you wanted someone with a Cracked Minecraft to play, you'd set that to false. But, I warn you, what happens if you do that is that people can hack into your Minecraft server. So, if you're, like, doing spawn animals, obviously, that's quite easy. There's one whitelist, if I put that as true... Uh, spawn MCs, that's like test certificates and that. Uh, server IP, not too important. But you could, you might as well put it in. It's that. And then the the level seed, so you, I could say it's like the FAQ Central. I remember that was a good one. You could put that in, but there's no point in really only doing any of these. So don't really, you don't need to bother with that. But if, if your Minecraft server's not working, put that in. And so yeah, oh gosh. Careful, if you delete anything or put any spaces, it ruins it. Enable Archon, doesn't really matter. Level type default, doesn't matter. You could have, like, super flat, all of those. Then the server port 25565, like I said earlier. Allow flight. So that's, say, say, like, you had flight mod, and then you flew up, it would say, warning, you cannot fly, unless it was in creative mode. And then if you also, like, jumped off a huge building, and you're in the air for, like, more than, like, five seconds, I think, it thinks you're flying, so enable query doesn't matter level name say, say i change that to bob uh, and that and then allow never true okay so say i change that to bob when i start the server it will generate a new world called bob see so that's basically that but obviously I, uh oh gosh it's still open there Let's try again um so i'll just keep that as world so say you just copied a world off like your thingy off your mic if you type in percent app data go into minecraft saves you can just copy one of your worlds and put it in but then you'd also have to change that or just change the name to world hi sorry i had a i had a problem my computer ran out of memory yeah i filled i filled a terabyte in about four months it's a bit a bit bad but anyway um so yeah then server this is just like all of the the stuff that it talks about so i i don't know actually i won't bother but i don't know whether that it might like affect how your Minecraft runs, and then ops. That is choosing who's going to be the op. So, so for an op, you could type in say percent update percent. No, wait, what am I talking about? You could type in slash time set zero uh, on your in your Minecraft chat, and it would set the time to zero rather than actually having to come out onto your Minecraft server. Ban players is just who you want to be banned. Banned IPs is like the router that you want to ban. There, that's that's warning me that I've. Got a little bit left, like 10 gig left, I think. And then, obviously, the world is just the normal world. But it tells you, like, this is as players. And that's not usually there on, like, single-player world. And that just gives you all of the people that... I wonder if you can't open this on anything. So that that is my the history of my person. That's just Java. I don't even understand any of this. It's just ridiculous. But, um... So, yeah. That is that. So, yeah. Alright guys, so that is it. We've made our Minecraft server. So, if if it's still not working for you, um, message me. Because I'll be happy to look up and help you guys. Because, obviously, the more people play Minecraft, the better. Right? So, okay, thank you very much for watching. And, also, uh, subscribe and comment to say which, uh, what, what tutorial you'd like me to do next. So I think we're going to do more. Because, obviously, helping you out, guys, is always handy. So...
You just comment whether you want me to do. I've got two options. Either I can show you how to make a bucket server, which is just a more complex server. You can do more things. You can get like mods in it a lot easier, but like only certain mods. And then, or I can show you how to name, like change the IP name. Both of the, I'll probably do both, but it's just just choosing which order. So all right, thank you very much and goodbye.